Tucker Carlson debates a black professor who is representing her and supporting Black Lives Matter in the case of Black Lives Matter holding a blacks only celebration. Welcome to the Shigama Live Show with your host, Shigama. My first question is, why do white people care? And the only people that came out and said anything were white people. I'm going to show you the clip in a second. And uh, I completely take the complete opposite approach of everybody. Everybody's against this professor. Oh, she's an idiot. Oh, she's demented. Oh, she's race racist. But if you look at the clip with an actual open mind, I don't support Black Lives Matter. I don't care for them. And for that purpose, let's put this into context, all of you idiots. Black Lives Matter is 75% white. There's nothing black about it. Do you really think George Soros is going to be handing over millions of dollars to black folks? Are you that stupid? Are you that racist? And she really couched the entire party as a black safe space. And oh, everybody is on the internet and on YouTube is going all crazy about that. You can't have a black safe space. How dare you have a black safe space? Oh, really? White people have black uh, have safe spaces all over the place. The entire concept of safe space is a white engineered concept. And literally, she says, you everything is white. You don't have to call it white, but everything is white. Oscars, every movie, almost, uh, TV shows, 12 seasons of The Black Bachelorette, and now you got a, a, a black woman, finally. And even on that one, you, you got a racist guy, a KKK supporting member on the cast of The Bachelorette. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, really. And then, of course, all, all, all of the all of the debates is, 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 is if Black Lives Matter, if it really matters, then why are black on black crime? Huh? Time out. White on white crime is more than all of the other minority groups put together. So shut the hell up talking about black on black crime. And if you really, if you really want to know something, here's the real deal. It's all orchestrated. We have eyewitness accounts of the federal government leaving boxes, crates of weapons in black communities across the nation. Black on black crime? We have orchestrated racism at its finest. This is the true definition of racism. Unemployment in certain various cities across the nation, 60% unemployment amongst black men. Let's not even get into black teenagers or black young people. Those are the under 25-year-olds. 70% unemployment. Well, that's because they're lazy. No, that's not because they're lazy. That's because you're an idiot. And you can't understand that since World War II, they have been crafting and honing and making a superlative efficacy in racism across the entire globe. It's all orchestrated. And what's funny is white people are a part of it, and they don't even know it. You don't even know why you're on food stamps. How is, what is it, 130 million people on food stamps? And those aren't black people. 130 million, those aren't black people. Do you know that there's only 50 million black people in the United States? It, even if every black person were on food stamps, there would still be more white people on food stamps than the entire population of black people. There you go. You want some statistics? I'll give you some statistics. FBI reports. Census reports. 2010. Go look it up. Stop being lazy, chumps. Yes, you're all chumps. And everything she says is true. Everything is white. Everything is white. Everything is white. Oh, no, we got to concentrate on black people. You got to be the better people. You can't be racist. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up with that mess. You can't have a party of black people by yourselves. Who do you think you are? That's racist. What the hell is that about? Why do you care? Why do you care? Here's the clip. 
Memorial Day is a great holiday for bringing Americans together, unless you decide to promote segregation while you do it. A Black Lives Matter group in New York City threw a Memorial Day party and barred anyone who was not black from attending. This is what they said. Being intentional about being around black people is an act of resistance. This is an exclusively black space, so if you do not identify as black and want to come because you love black, pe black people, please respect the space and do not come. Lisa Durden is a political commentator and Black Lives Matter supporter. She joins us tonight. Lisa, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Good to see you again. You're doing well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was confused by this because I thought the whole point of Black Lives Matter, one of the points would be to speak out against singling people out on the basis of their race and punishing them for that. Because you can't control what your race is, and yet they seem to be doing that. Explain that to me. What I say to that is boo-hoo-hoo. You white people are angry because you couldn't use your white privilege card whoa, whoa, to get invited Lisa. to the Black Lives Matters All Black Memorial Day celebration. Wow. Let me contextualize that for you. Memorial whoa, whoa, Day was no, created I don't want by you to, wait, Memorial so, so Day was first created. First of all, I don't want you to contextualize. Right? Oh, I, want I need you, to contextualize I want, it because Memorial ask, Day was created by well, on, you, black are, former slaves people in 1865 on the basis of their race. Wait, okay. to honor those individuals who were Union soldiers who fought and died for our freedom. So Black Lives Matter matter in that same vein decided to get together with black okay, folks. I'm not going to let you filibuster past my to question. To make sure that black on, folks were celebrated for being murdered by racist terrorists. I don't, don't want to shut this down. I don't want to shut this if down, but I will. That, okay. You I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I just have a really simple question for you. If you yeah, don't ready. like people ex excluding others on the basis of their race, and as a society we agree that that's bad. I agree it's bad. You agree it's bad. Then why are you doing it? And why are you defending listen, it now? White folks crack me up all of a sudden when we want to have question. one it's day a universal for value. black folks to focus on ourselves. But you've been having white day forever. You don't say the words anymore because you know it's politically incorrect. But you've had an all-white Oscars, all these movies with all-white uh, well, actors, don't like movie it, after movie after movie. Why are you movie, perpetuating all it? All-white TV shows with with white cast over and over and over again. The Bachelorette. It took a Seven seasons of a black bachelorette. Okay. Are you serious? It's, it's hard to believe. I hope you're not speaking for anyone else. I hope there aren't a lot of people well, in this country who agree with you. Well, my name is Lisa Durden. I'm speaking for you. Lisa Durden. I just hope there aren't people watching who agree with you oh, because what watching. you're saying is so hostile and separatist and crazy. It's such a basic violation of what I thought we all agreed on, which is you don't attack people for things they can't control, namely it's not their race. It's not an attack. I'm stating the facts. People give weddings you, okay. where they exclude children. It doesn't mean they don't like children. They don't know if your kids are going to be monsters and those kids are going to be well behaved. No, so in no. that same vein, We're Black all... Lives Matter decided to have one day where they didn't want white folks who are going to be off the rails. They don't know if you're going to be the ones behaved on for them or the ones who are there against them. So they you, let me, let me just ask, let me ask you a, Let me just ask you a quick question. Go right Do ahead. Do you think it's racist to exclude people on the basis of their skin color? I think it's racist when you've been excluding people for hundreds and hundreds of years. Why don't you answer my question and, and stop years, with your silly and lectures? Forced, I'm asking you a very we're simple question. we forced to come together collectively to celebrate ourselves because you guys won't. You are the larger society. Let's be really? real here. You, you guys, I'm not talking, I'm talking about what I thought we all believed. Let me ask you this. Do you think it would be fair if white people did come to a Black Lives Matter celebration? They do to all have the them, time. When you then, look at Black Lives Matter. Do you use matters, the same water? Water fountain that they do? And you see black lives men are coming together collectively for different uh, issues. You see people of all races. So we do accept them this particular day. They said, stay your asses out. We want to well, celebrate today. Okay. We don't want anybody going against us today. And you can't celebrate if someone who doesn't look like you is around? Yes, you can, but you can you're also demented, say, I don't want actually. to do it. It's a personal you're choice. Sick. And what you're saying is disgusting. And if you were a Nazi, I would oh, say the same thing to you. Luckily, I'm not a Nazi. Because what you're saying is indistinguishable from what they are saying, which is, I don't care your opinions, I don't care your views, your life experience, your intentions. All I care about is the way you look, something that you can't control. And on that basis alone, I'm judging you, and I'm hostile to you. That's the case you're making, and it's divided and wrong and it's amazing that you don't have to say that out loud but it, I, well, I can't believe you're well, making the case you're making. Unfortunately, unfortunately, when you have a racist society like America, you force individuals to come together collectively to make sure that they have a voice. And that's unfortunate this is what identity that the politics racism looks has like. caused okay. people to come together let me, collectively. Let me ask you a question. Is there a single white person in America you would have let into this now, into I, the celebration? I, I'm not, 
I'm not Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is a You're movement. You're just an apologist However, for this. however, however, I can respect the decision. It doesn't mean it's a decision I would have made. Maybe I would have. Just like a wedding where I might say your kids can't bring their bad asses in my okay. wedding. Children are not an ethnic group. Every it doesn't person matter. In You're the discriminating world, against people matter. with kids. You're saying don't bring your bad ass kids. W would it be okay? But you see, and that's not, okay. Okay, but w there are white adults and Asian adults and Hispanic adults. And presumably, they're basically the same as black we adults, have, we, but you we, don't agree with that. We have gay pride parades. We have Puerto Rican Day parades. And we have all Rican kinds of parades and, and days that honor individuals. We, we, have, we have Mother's Day. We have Father's and Day. Fathers so are allowed Mother's to Day, participate just in take that. your mama out, I'm not, not your sure daddy you're even capable of having this conversation, so I'm going to end it now. Let me just uh, ask you one last, let me ask you one last question, and be totally honest with yes. this. Do the people in your world, your parents, your siblings, your kids, your friends, do they agree with you on this? My family respects my right to free speech. No, don't give me that dumb answer. I mean, do they agree, agree with what you just said? Though? Do you know a lot of people thing. who agree with right what you just said? I have the right to free speech. Whatever. No one's contesting. I'll it. see you next stop, time stop, on your show. That. You'll be do inviting me again. Do you know a lot of people who agree with oh, you? Oh, Tucker, like, I'm going to see you again in less than a month. Ratings are going up. I don't even know what you're talking about.